Welcome back to some new r slash malicious compliance stories, where people comply to the letter, but not the spirit of a request. I hope you had a great day. The first story is called Working from Home. This happened in 2020. I work with an important fiber optic network in an electric power distribution company that owns the grid. So we had to work during that time, and some of the work can be done from home. I've wanted to do some of my boring administrative work from home for a long time, and they've always told us that it's not possible. However, during 2020, we were split into two teams that went to work one week and stayed at home the other week. It wasn't a problem suddenly. Later, when everything started to go back to normal, we were switching on a day-to-day -day basis instead of bi-weekly. So obviously, we followed the rules. A couple of weeks after this change, the boss of our boss sent us an email saying, from this day on, you should go to work at least sometime during the month. So naturally, I've complied. Instead of every other day, I went to work three times a month. My productivity was way better and I was generally happier. Sadly, now we can't work from home anymore, since apparently it is not possible. The next story is called Work from the Office. HR asked why I was not working from the office yet. I explained about the technical difficulties in the office and how I was working with the IT department to try and resolve the issues. HR started blaming me for it, saying it's my responsibility to finish off the ticket. I don't work in IT. I can't resolve a ticket I created myself. They threatened my paycheck, saying I'd face issues if I wasn't in the office soon. I informed them that currently I was putting my project as the priority. But if I go to the office now, even though working from home is not affecting my productivity at all, my project would get affected. HR pretended not to hear and just threatened me again. So I guess I'll go to the office. Currently, there is no internet in the office. Not even proper water or coffee is available in the vending machines. And none of the facilities are working fine. Let's see how the client feels when I start logging in my hours in the office for playing solitaire. The third story is called Paying Cash. I usually pay with things using my credit card. I find that it's way more convenient than carrying cash. This one restaurant that I go to has recently started a policy that I don't like. I am constantly reminded of this policy by one snooty cashier. Every time she rings you up, she says the total. And then she makes a big production of seeing the credit card. It's another button and then says a higher total. She then smiles and says, just a reminder, it's cheaper to pay with cash. Today, I put this policy to the test. When she did her little head bob of recognition and my credit card, I put it away. I said, actually, I'm paying cash today. I pulled nearly 60 quarters out of my pocket and set them on the counter. The look on her face was priceless. That fake shiriness she typically has when touting the policy evaporated. I turned to the folks behind me, smiled sweetly and said, sorry, it's cheaper to pay with cash. As the settings turned into minutes, I just kept repeating, sorry folks, they get charged a fee to use credit cards. It is cheaper with cash. It is not about the money for me. It's about the principle of it. Cards are easier, cleaner and more convenient. As the cashier found out in a very visceral way as she counted the quarters. The last story is called As Directed. I work as an EHS person for a manufacturing and repair company. I deal with OSHA inspections, chemical management and spill reporting. I do a lot of walking around and I fix a lot of issues. Floor signs, door signs, blocked panels, trash and other safety issues. I put in service requests for them to be fixed. Due to being sick, I got behind on my task. Not by much, but enough had to get done that I should have to work a little overtime. I had a doctor's note for breathing issues and that I won't be at 100% for a while. Then I had my review for my position. Being too nice, helping outside of my position, not finishing jobs as directed. I needed to do my job as directed. I did not receive my raise and bonus for that year because of it. I requested a job description and tasks. 
I said I would only be doing them because of my contract. And that's it. I got the confirmation email for it 10 minutes later. Three months down the line, we had our big audit. My side of EHS of the department was given my 95 of 100. A very good score. I was docked 5 on the issue with chemical management. We had 3 drums get misplaced for about a month. This is a huge facility. 4 different buildings. Each between 400 and 500,000 square feet. So I took my issues and went about my day. One week later, we had a meeting about the audit. The rest of EHS ended up with a 79 to 82 for the audit. They had 19 floor and wall signs that had been damaged, 10 block panels, 2 mislabeled waste bins, 3 waste bins without labels, and many more. In my company, we have two main groups, green badge full-time and yellow badge contractors. I am contracted and have been for the past 6 years. The ones in charge of the inspections that had issues are full employees. They noticed that I stopped putting in the maintenance request to have stuff fixed. I ended up telling them that I had my review and was told to do my job as directed. I gave the head of the department, his company manager and the other reps that had come in the emails. My direct boss tried to say he did not mean that, but the email showed what I was to do. I was taken aside by my direct boss, the main EHS department bosses and my contracted company rep. We talked about expanding my scope of work back to reporting and maintenance requests. I told them that if my bonus and raise from last year are given and an adequate raise for my new responsibilities are given, then I would consider it. They complied with my request and even gave me more on my bonus because of the highest score on the audit. The EHS team and my facility has 9 people. We had 5 new by the end of the month. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you have time, watch another one of my videos. And now I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.